Hi guys, myself Suguna HG. In this video, we are discussing about the working rule to find asymptotes for polar curves. Step 1. Put the equation of the curve in the form 1 by r is equal to f of theta. So first, we have to bring the equation of the curve to the form 1 by r is equal to f of theta. Then solve f of theta is equal to 0 and find out the values of theta and put them as alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. Then find the derivative of f of theta and value of the derivative of f of theta at theta is equal to alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 values. So we have to find the f dash of theta at theta is equal to alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, so on. The equation of the asymptote corresponding to the roots theta is equal to alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 r r sin of theta minus alpha 1 is equal to 1 by f dash of alpha 1 for the first root for the second root alpha 2 we have the asymptote as r sin of theta minus alpha 2 is equal to 1 by f dash of alpha 2 and for the next root alpha 3 also it continues. So like this we find out the asymptote of the polar curves. If 1 by f dash of alpha 1 is infinite for any value of theta then the curve has no asymptote corresponding to that value. So 1 by f dash of alpha 1 should not be infinity to have asymptotes. Now let us take up an example for this and work out according to these steps. Find the asymptote of the curve r cos n theta is equal to a. So here the equation of the given curve is r cos n theta is equal to a. According to our first step we have to write this as 1 by r form. So transfer cos n theta to this side. So we get r is equal to a by cos n theta. Then take the reciprocal of that. So we have written the given equation in the form 1 by r equal to cos n theta by a. Therefore f of theta is equal to cos n theta by a. See 1 by r is equal to f of theta. Hence f of theta is equal to cos n theta by a. Now put f of theta is equal to 0 then this implies cos n theta by a is equal to 0. Cos n theta by a is equal to 0 means cos n theta is equal to 0. When cos n theta is equal to 0 which implies that n theta is equal to 2m5 plus or minus 5 by 2. Therefore, alpha is equal to 1 by n into m5 plus 5 by 2. See, n theta is equal to 2m5 plus or minus 5 by 2. We have to take theta is equal to alpha. So, alpha is equal to 1 by n into m5 plus 5 by 2, which implies that f dash of theta See, f of theta is equal to cos n theta by a. Hence, f dash of theta is equal to minus n by a sin n theta. See, when you differentiate cos n theta, we will get minus n sin n theta. Hence, the derivative of f of theta, that is f dash of theta is equal to minus n by a sin n theta. Hence, f dash of alpha is equal to minus n by a sin n theta, n theta is 2m5 plus or minus 5 by 2. So we have taken it as m5 plus 5 by 2 which implies that minus n by a cos m5. So the above equation reduces to minus n by a cos m5 and we have the equation of asymptote r sin of theta minus alpha 1 is equal to 1 by 
f dash of alpha 1. So, by using this result, see we get this as r sin of theta minus alpha 1 value is 1 by n m5 plus 5 by 2 which is equal to minus a by n cos m5. Thank you.